Do you know what advertisers hate? When people don't watch their advertisements. They spend millions of dollars writing pithy slogans, hiring A-list actors and artiste directors, focused testing to ensure applicability across all demographics. And then you hit fast forward and all of that money is wasted. So naturally, when smartphone and television manufacturers began embedding retina scanners in their screens, ostensibly as a security feature, advertisers seized the opportunity to track your eye movements. Tonight, my family's watching The Walking Dead. But every commercial break, if one of us leaves the room to use the bathroom or looks away to check our texts, the commercial pauses. It only restarts once all of our eyes are again pinned to the screen. Now we don't even get up to answer the phone. A cavalade of fire trucks and ambulances blared by ten minutes ago, and everyone hissed at me when I dared to look out the window. My brother just came home from work, and instead of greeting him, we all called out a simultaneous, passionless, Hey Mark! I suppose it makes the viewing experience more immersive, since you have no choice but to invest your full attention. Of course, that means noticing all of the plot holes you might have otherwise overlooked. For example, I never understood how zombie outbreaks occur in the first place. Individually, zombies are sluggish and stupid. They're only dangerous in groups. But where did those groups come from? It's almost like everyone was distracted, blissfully unaware of the zombies creeping up behind them until it was too late. Stupid television logic. I can hear Mark slowly shambling through the dark to join us. Hopefully he remembers to keep his eyes on the screen.